Welcome back. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. Back in action like Jesse Jackson, ready for action. How are you today? Good evening. Good evening, teacher. Hello. How are you? Good evening. Very good. Are you ready? Yes. Excellent. Yes. How was your day? Very well. What did you do today? Um, good. Very good. Did you work today or no work? Um, work. You worked all day? All day. <laughs> Where do you work? Um, um, very good. No, no, no. Where do you work? ¿A dónde trabaja? Uh, um, en el banco. En el banco. Eh, 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 Cuscatlán. Oh, okay. So you're a banker. Big banker. money. <laughs> no. <laughs> a lot of work, a lot of money. <laughs> <laughs> That's good. That's very good. Um, hello, Diana Lisette. How are you? Good, teacher. Okay, very good. Welcome, welcome. Hello, Carla Alas. Hello, Ailey Michelle, Adriana Arias. Welcome. Diana Contreras. So we have George Antonio, Katy Cines. Welcome back, welcome back, welcome back. How are you today? Hello, teacher. I'm fine. All right. That's awesome. That's very good. Gabriela Argueta. Welcome, welcome. All right, ladies and gentlemen, uh, let's get started with today's class. Uh, who can tell me what information do you remember uh, from yesterday's class? What can you tell me? What did we talk about? What did we discuss? Uh, what vocabulary do you remember, etc.? Frequency words? Frequency adverbs. Adverbs, sir. Good job, Kati. Um, Kati, can you give me an example of one of the uh, frequency adverbs that you remember from yesterday's class? Oh. Question or uh, answer um, on a sentence is, I, I always uh, take a shower in the morning. <laughs> okay, I always take a shower in the morning. That's good. Um, what else do you remember from yesterday's class? What else do you remember? Um, I don't know the specific. Pronunciation practice. Do you remember? Ah, no. I... <laughs> uh -huh. uh, do you remember we were looking at pronunciation practice? Yes. Yes. That's right. And what can you tell me about this pronunciation practice? Session. Mm -hmm. Intonation. Very good. So today I would like for us to um, practice a little bit the conversation. Do you remember the conversation fit? How fit are you? Yes. 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 Okay, I'm real fitness freak. Let me have two volunteers. Two volunteers. Me teacher. Me teacher. All right, Adriana and who else? D Dina. <laughs> Dina. Okay, Adriana and Dina. Adriana, you are Ruth, and Dina, you are Keith. Okay. Action. Okay. You're in gray shape, okay? Thames, I guess. I'm a real fit fitness freak. How often do you work out? Well, I do, I do aerobic twice 
a week and I play tennis every week. Tennis? That sounds like a lot of fun. Oh, do you want to play sometime? Uh, how well do you play? Pretty well, I guess. Well, all right, but I'm not very good. No problem. i um, give you a few tips. Perfect. Perfect. Um, repeat. Few. 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 Few, few tips. Few tips. Few tips. Okay. All right. Good job, Adriana and Diana. Thank, Thank you, teacher. You. Thank you, teacher. Good work. All right. Diana, select somebody. Adriana, select somebody. Diana okay. and Adriana. Okay. Um, Diana. Diana Lisette. Jorge, Jorge Antonio. And Jorge Antonio. Okay. Jorge Antonio and Diana Lisette. Jorge, you are going to be Keith. And Diana, you are going to be Ruth. Okay. You're on day tape, okay? Thanks. I guess I am I am really real fitness freak. How often do you work out? Well, I do aerobics twice a week and I play tennis every week. Tennis? That's fun. I got a lot of fun. Oh, do you want to play sometime? Oh, uh, what way do you play? Very pretty well, I guess. Well, all right, but I'm not very good. No problem. I give you your you a few tips. Perfect. Only the pronunciation of the name, right? When when you see two vowels, for example, here you see the letter E is a vowel and the letter I, it's a vowel. So we don't say Keith, we say Keith, Keith. 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 Uh -huh. it, normally only one vowel is pronounced, right? For example, okay. if, you, if you see the verb bought, bought, right? The past tense of by, by simple present, bought simple past, right? We don't say bought, we say bought, bought, like a O. So only one letter is pronounced. So okay. when you see two vowels together, uh, usually only one vowel is pronounced, okay? Okay. All right. I know that everybody wants to participate, but we have to continue, guys. Let's move forward. We're going to be looking at in this section, participants will watch and study questions with how y respuestas cortas. Okay, here is a, here's a typo. This should go in and responses. En esta clase, participantes verán y estudiarán preguntas usando how y cómo contestar en respuestas cortas. Short answers. Are you ready? Yes, I will. Yes, yes. yes. All right, let's listen, please. In this session, participants will watch and study questions with how and to give short answers. Hello, everyone. We will go over four important questions we can ask in order to know frequency and performance. Notice all questions begin with how. Pay attention. Questions with how. Short answers. How often do you work out? Every day. Twice a week. Not very often. How long do you spend at the gym? 30 minutes a day. Two hours a week. About an hour on weekends. How well do you play tennis? Pretty well. About average. Not very well. How good are you at sports? Pretty good. Okay. Not so good. 
how, how often, how long. They refer to times or frequency. How well, how good. They refer to performance. How often do you go to English class? How long do you spend at school? How well do you speak English? How good are you at speaking English? Ya te la voy a ir a comprar. Thank you, George. Thank you. <laughs> Put your microphone on mute, George. <laughs> Sorry. It's okay. All right. So in this activity, guys, we're looking at how often do you, how long do you, how well do you, how good are you? Do you have any questions about these questions and the meaning? Do you have any questions about this topic? Yes, question. Yeah, what is your question? Can they hold yes, question? Yo. Diana. Ed, ¿Ustedes saben cómo levantar la manita para poderlos identificar, guys? La manita azul. No? Ok. No, Vá, yes, teacher. Váyanse donde dice participants. En la parte de abajo tiene un icono que tiene como dos eh, profile iconos y dice participants. Dele clic allí y le tienen que aparecer tres puntitos. Ok. Así Adriana levantó la mano. Y esos tres puntitos eh, tiene que decir una opción raise hand in Spanish y levantar la mano in English. ¿Lo ven? Todos levantemos la mano. Quiero ver que todos ese, podemos usar esa función. Eh, ok, Gabriela, very good. Ok, Cecilia Estrada, very good. Susi, very good. Oh. Carla Alas, very oh. good. Katy Cines, very good. Mm -hmm. Diana Lisette, very good. I can find them. Okay, go go down. Abajo, abajo, mm -hmm. en, en la barra de Zoom, tiene que aparecerle un, una fotito que están como dos perfiles. Sí. Okay, dele click ahí. Yes. All right. Uh, ahora dele, le tienen que aparecer tres puntitos. Mm, no. Se, se abre la lista de participantes. Oh. ¿Alguien In le puede? Reactions. Reactions. En reactions está. Yes. yes. Oh, ok. Sorry. Vaya a ser reactions. Ah, ok. No, 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 no quiero ver el thumbs up ni el aplauso. No, esa es otra cosa. Esas son reacciones. Uh, tiene que ser una manita azul. Ah, ahí está, George. Very good. Very good, George. Ya la tenía levantada, George. Ok, ahora sí, ya la tiene. Good, good job, George. Good job, George. Thank you. Okay, good job, Diana. Emma, todavía no veo que me levante la mano. No. Nope. Mm -mm. Tiene que ser una manita azul, así no como los. Encuentro. Ok, vamos. ¿Quién le puede asistir a Emma? Como yo Can tengo la plataforma. Yo tengo Can la plataforma. Share the... Yes, yes, share the screen, share the screen. Thank you, good idea. Share the screen. En... Ah, uh, no, it's not sharing the, the toolbar. Mm, okay. Uh, no, no, no. Okay. ¿Cómo se dice toolbar? Toolbar. Toolbar. La barra de, de herramientas. herramientas. Okay. Barra de herramientas. All right. En la barra de herramientas, pero no la barra de herramientas de Google, ni la barra de herramientas de, <laughs> de lo que tiene ahí. Tiene que ser la barra de herramienta de Zoom. Donde dice participantes, chat, eh, compartir yeah. pantalla, reacciones. Es que le doy en reacciones, pero no encuentro la azul. Dice, tiene que decir lower hand. Ajá, lower hand quiere decir bajar la mano. Y al no tenerla arriba dice raise a hand. Raise hand, correcto. Raise uh -huh. hand tiene que decir, Emma. Ahí ves? en reaction. 
Ahí en reaction. Ajá, estoy, estoy en reaction. Pero solo tengo aplauso, dedito levantado, corazón. No me sale la manita. Bueno, ok. Bueno, well, anyway, eh, ahí después eh, pues, se puede pues, acercar a mi sí. persona y, y yo le ayudo, o si no, le, le comunico con uno de los muchachos de apoyo técnico para que le ayude con eso. Eh, pero si cuando vamos a, when we're going to participate, guys, eh, levantemos la manita. Sí puede decir yo, teacher, eh, pero levante la manita porque como yo no, eh, cuando está hablando se ve un cuadro azul como se ve el mío, amarillo, ¿lo ven? Yes. So, cuando usted dice yo, se le enciende esa, ese cuadrito amarillo, pero después se apaga. So, yo ya no sé quién fue el que habló. So, ya me quedo como que quién dijo eso, ¿verdad? So, eh, si usted levanta la manita, yo ya sé, ah, ok, fue esta persona. Ok, all right. So, Diana. Go ahead, Diana. Hi. Yes. Um, so we have how often, how long, how well, how good. What What is your, your question on the topic? Um, I understand. Mm -hmm. You don't have a question? Mm -hmm. No, no question. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> Okay, pensé que tenía pregunta. Does anybody have a question referring to this topic? How long, how often, how good, how well? What is the meaning of how well? How well. Um, por ejemplo, yo tengo la pregunta, ¿qué tan bien manejas moto? Right, because ah. I, I see you have a motorcycle. So yes, I, I, like I ask you the question, how well? Do you ride a motorcycle? Mm -hmm. Very, oh, better. Oh, that's, you can say very good. <laughs> very good. Okay. Thank very you. good. And I, mm -hmm. I understand. Okay. Um, o, por ejemplo, uh, usted está hablando con una persona y la persona dice, I can cook. Right? It's not my case. I can't cook. But imagine somebody says to you, I can make a cake, right? Y le quieres decir, mm, ¿qué tan bien cocinas? How well do you cook? How well do you cook? Okay. How well do you cook? ¿Qué tan bien cocinas? Uh -huh. Do you understand? Yes, thank you. All right. Any questions, guys? Questions, questions right now? No questions. No, teacher. Okay. Teacher, questions. Hi. And, and how good? Ah, how good is lo mismo. How good do you cook? Oh. How good do you ride a motorcycle? ¿Qué tan bien haces tal cosa? Es lo mismo. How good y how well es lo mismo. Dos formas de decir lo mismo. Teacher, yo Hi. tengo una duda. Ya. Yeah. Este, y en cuanto a las, las respuestas que aparecían en el video. ¿Por qué si significa lo mismo? Porque las respuestas son diferentes. Eh, let me see. Uh, where? Uh -huh. Aquí. How sí. well do you play tennis? Ah, uh, son diferentes formas de, de responder. Pero puedes responder... Eh, pretty well, about average, not very well. Las puedes responder también acá. O oh, pretty good, okay, not so good. Estas también las puedes responder acá. Solo te está dando varias opciones. Pero no Entonces, quieres... uh -huh. perdón, entonces se puede, digamos, hacer la pregunta como How good do you play tennis? Uh -huh. Y sería bien. Y puedes decir, pretty well, o about average, o not very well. Uh -huh. okay. O sea, Gracias. y viceversa, solo son diferentes maneras de decir lo mismo. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Gracias. Pero no hay eh, que, eh, que porque decís how well, solo vas a responder así. O si decís how good, solo vas a responder aquí, aquí así. No, 
No. If I say to you, um, how well do you play tennis? Y tú respondes, mm, OK. Quiere decir que juegas tenis. OK. O si tú te pregunto, uh, how good uh, do you cook? Y tú me dices, pretty well, pretty well. Es lo mismo. Mm -hmm. Okay. Las dos se pueden usar eh, en las dos preguntas. Es la misma pregunta preguntando eh, de diferente forma. OK. Um, now, for okay, this. Yes. yes. For this activity, you were supposed to write questions here. Todos hicieron la actividad ayer? Yes. I OK. Did. OK. So this was only a review. Now we're going to look at the next one. All right. Esta es la que todos tenían un problema con esta, ¿verdad? Con la tres. How often do you play cards? Once or twice a month. Okay. Does anybody have any questions referring to this activity? Esta fue que casi varios alumnos me estuvieron pidiendo ayuda con esta. Do you have any questions over here? No question. Yo, teacher, yo yeah. tengo una pregunta. Ailey. Sí. Ailey, hi Ailey. Eh, era la cuatro la que la mayoría nos confundimos porque todos le poníamos how well do, do you. Oh, y okay. veo que se cambia, se puede jugar, quitar el do y poner otro, uh -huh, uh -huh. otro verbo. Es sí. correcto, se puede hacer con cualquier verbo. Ah, con, con cualquier verbo, no. Eh, when, cuando usamos el how well... All right, ojo con esto, buena pregunta. When we use how well, se usa el do. How well do you play? El verbo es play. Do es el auxiliar. O si tú dices, how well eh, do you dance? Salsa, for example. All right, how well do you dance? Eh, How well do you speak? Uh, so, allí... <coughs> Perdón, que... <coughs> Baby, apágame el ventilador. Hold on, guys, because I think the my fan was uh, drying my, my throat. Thank you. Okay, so when we use the auxiliary, when I use the auxiliary, do, I'm going to use the verb in the base form. But when I use the adjective good, I'm going to use the be verb. It's not the same auxiliary. And I don't have another verb. Here I have another verb. So in Spanish, we interpret it the same. Que tan bueno eres para. Right? And that's the only way. So interpreting the, the question, the question means the same thing. Que tan bueno eres para, o qué tan bueno eres eh, en deportes. So, when we use how well, the auxiliary do, the subject, and the verb. But, when you use how good are you at, ya no va un verbo, ya va un objeto, at sports, at cooking. At dancing. Ya va un gerundio. ¿Qué es un gerundio? Un gerundio es un verbo que se usa como objeto. Do you understand? ¿Podría escribirnos algunos ejemplos, dicho? Yes. Yes, I will. Okay. So if I say to you, le voy a dar unos ejemplos con los gerundios. 
Eh, por ejemplo, tú, yo te digo, how good are you at cooking? Puedes decir eso, how good are you, how good are you at cooking? So allí el gerundio es cooking, no se está usando como verbo. Pero si yo te digo, how well do you cook? Allí cook es un verbo. O si yo te digo, eh, conducir, manejar. How, how good are you at driving how good are you at driving or how well do you drive okay in español se interpreta de la misma forma right que también cocinas o que tan bueno eres para la cocina Ah, ok. Ahí cambió la cosa. Uh, how good are you at cooking? Sería, qué bueno, qué tan bueno eres para la cocina. Right? Estás usando cocina como nombre. But if you say, how well do you cook? Que también cocinas. Allí cocinas es un verb. So igual cook es un verb. Uh, how good are you at driving? ¿Qué tan buenos eres para el manejo? How well do you drive? ¿Qué tan bien manejas? Do you understand the idea? Yes, teacher. <laughs> my Spanish is not, my grammar in Spanish is not so good. No, yo estudié en los Estados Unidos desde chiquito. So, toda mi académica, escuela académica fue... En inglés, estos de gerundio y cosas así las aprendí por mi propia cuenta estudiando el español. Okay. But do you understand the idea? Yes. 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 Yeah. Emma, alguien dijo teacher. Yo quiero yes. ver si entendí. Ajá. Emma. Ajá. Emma. Para si, si uso how good, solo le agrego el verbo to be, no mm -hmm. uso auxiliar. Correct. Y uso how well. Y no y usa otro verbo. Y no, no se otro usa verbo. otro verbo. Ok. Ajá, ese es el yo... verbo. Ese es el verbo. ¿Qué tan bueno eres? Ese es el verbo. Mm -hmm. Ese es el are, el eres para la cocina. Ajá. Ajá, entonces si uso how well, si uso el auxiliar do. Y, no. y el verbo. Y el verbo. En su sí, forma base. En Hollywood es eres, soy, son, así como tú That's eres right. bueno, ajá, yo soy ajá. bueno, él ajá. es bueno. That's right. Ah, así, ah, ajá. That's the sí. idea. Ok. Sí. Ah, pues sí entendimos. Thank you, Emma. <laughs> I know this is a little, para ustedes, me imagino que es like, what are you talking about, teacher? Porque es nuevo para ti. Pero con la práctica, guys, with practice, you're going to see that English becomes natural, English becomes easy. You know, um, les voy a describir un poquito de mi experiencia. Eh, cuando yo llegué a El Salvador, eh, como yo ya no usaba el español, yo me crié en una casa salvadoreña, católica, de campo, porque mis abuelos eran full campo. Mi abuela tenía unas manos que cuando te pegaba como que si era un cincho de cuero. O sea, era duro porque ella puro campo. O sea, que la milpa, que... Right. So, mi enseñanza de niño fue full Spanish. Right. Yo decía de la puerta para adentro, full Spanish. De la puerta para afuera, full English. Right, yo, yo estaba en la casa. Eh, Abuela, voy a salir. Ok, mi hijo, ten cuidado. Ok, abuela, I'll, I'll talk to you. Uh, te, llamo, te hablo después. Voy a estar jugando con mis amigos. Y solo salía de la puerta. Y era, hey guys, what's up? What's going on? I'm right here. Let's play. Right, so eran, eran dos transitions. 
pero ya cuando yo me independicé, yo me independicé a los 15 años, eh, yo ya no usaba el español. In my job, English. At school, English. Friends, English. Eh, yo estuve en el U.S. Army, eh, militar, English. So it was all English. University, English. Everything was English. So what happened? Eh, when I returned to El Salvador, I can understand a little bit of English, of Spanish. All right. Why? Because my ear, my ear didn't practice listening to Spanish, only English. So, yo miraba la noticia y yo entendía esto. Soy apango. Debería policía. Debería Univision. De todo lo que dijo, entendí tres palabras. Univision, soy apango y policía. That's it. So, what happened? Tuve que hacer una transición mental. Empecé a escuchar música en español. Empecé a leer el periódico en español. Eh, empecé a leer libros en español. So, ¿Qué hizo eso? Eso me reacostumbró al español. So, ahora ya domino otra vez el español. So, igualmente usted, your ear is in, is in Spanish, so you have to push yourself, discipline yourself to English, right? You can watch, listen to music in English, right? The 80s, lady in red, dancing with me. Oh, oh. Do, 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 do. Do, 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 do. Don't worry, be happy. Or music like uh, the Beatles, hello, goodbye. Or John Lennon, whatever. It's what, whatever music that you like uh, is slow music. Somewhere over the rainbow, blue birds fly, whatever. If you're watching a movie, put the subtitles in English. Más que si es una movie que he visto diez veces, mírala en inglés. Pon los subtitles en inglés, right? Porque entre más tú te vas pushing, 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 the more is going to be more natural for you. Do you understand? Yes. Yes, teacher. Eh, obviamente al principio lo va a sentir frustrado, lo va a sentir, man, English is not for me, but it is for you. It's for everybody. It's the, it's the one language, it's the one language that can do business anywhere in the world. ¿Quieren saber cómo se gana la vida, Mr. Santos? Yes. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yes. Ok, Mr. Santos eh, trabaja con bienes y raíces en los Estados Unidos. Yo compro casas en proceso de embargos y vendo casas en procesos de embargos. Y todo lo, lo hago desde aquí. El Salvador. Echado en la maca. Pidiendo café. All day. Talking to people. Do you think these people know that I am in El Salvador? No. All they do is listen to my voice. Hey, hi, this is Michael King calling you with Florida foreclosure help. I was just following up with you regarding your property over at 9707 Stettling Drive. I could see that you had a foreclosure by US American Bank. And I just wanted to ask you if you were thinking about selling the property. Oh yes, the bank, they want to take my house. I don't have any money. My husband died. Uh, my children, they live in Alabama. Uh, I don't know what to do. Oh, okay, don't worry about that. I'm going to be able to help you with that. Boom. Y así me gano la vida. In English. From El Salvador. Making American dollars. From El Salvador. Ya es posible. You can do business with China in English. You can do business with Russia in English. 
you can do business with India in English. English is the money language. It's the business. Do you like money? Yes. I love money. Yes, I love. <laughs> <laughs> so if you like money, you like dollars, you like English. And you can do it. Any questions? No. Any questions? No. no. Okay. It is what it is. So, um, estamos en buenas manos, okay? Y eso es lo que hago todo el día. Comprar casas en proceso de embargos y vender casas. That's it. From El Salvador in a hammock. Right. Ni, ni para eso me pongo corbata y me siento en una silla y me veo todo nice. Right? No. This is for you. Especially for you. <laughs> Thank you, teacher. Thank you, teacher. Yeah, 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 I know. All right. Let's continue. So we did this activity 111, okay, we finished this. Now we're looking at how. In this section, participants will read a survey about health and fitness. Notice all questions use how. En esta clase, los participantes leerán una encuesta sobre salud. Observe como todas las preguntas usan how. Health and fitness quiz. Instructions. Take the quiz and add up your score in a piece of paper. Find out how fit you are. Instrucciones. Tome el test y sume su puntaje en una hoja de papel. Descubre qué tan en forma estás. All right. So we're going to do this in pairs. And then you're going to write your response here. Eso es tarea. Any questions? No. No. Mm -hmm. no this is, all right. So this is going to be your homework. This is your homework. Oh, ding, 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 section two. Okay, las primeras dos semanas, guys, son las dos semanas más back to back because we got to finish section one, section two, and section three, and the midterm exam. So, las okay. primeras dos semanas son las más heavy. Ya semana tres, solo section four. Y semana cuatro, solo section five. All right. 2.0. In this session, participants will listen to a conversation about two people and the activities they did during the past weekend. En esta clase, participantes escucharán a dos personas. Hablando sobre los, las actividades que hicieron el fin de semana pasado. Did you do anything? <laughs> Hi to all. Welcome to section 7. We had a great time. In this session, participants will listen to a conversation between two people and the activities they did last weekend. This conversation will walk us through activities that took place in the past. I really need you to concentrate as we'll begin to study simple past. Okay, concentrate porque ya no estamos metiendo en simple past. All right, ¿qué quiere decir eso? Quiere decir que ya estamos subiendo de nivel. All right, los módulos principiantes, todos los módulos principiantes son simple present. Ahora, ya como estamos en intermediate, ya estamos viendo el simple past. Okay. A 
as you listen to the conversation, write down all the verbs in the past you can identify. Did you do anything special? So, what did you do last weekend, Meg? Oh, I had a great time. I went to a karaoke bar and sang with some friends on Saturday. That sounds like fun. Did you go to Lucky's? No, we didn't. We went to that new place downtown. How about you? Did you go anywhere? No, I didn't go anywhere all weekend. I just stayed home and studied for today's Spanish test. Our Spanish test is today? I forgot all about that. Don't worry. You always get an A. <laughs> all right, so El Chero, he's studying. La Chera, she's partying. <laughs> Okay, everybody, please listen and repeat. So, so what, so, what uh, did you do last weekend, Meg? What, what, so, what did you do last, last weekend, weekend Meg? Meg? Oh, I had a great time. Oh, oh I, had, I had, had a great, great time. time. I went to a karaoke bar. I went, I went to, to a karaoke bar. bar and sang with some friends on Saturday. And sang, and sang with, with some friends, friends, friends on Saturday. Saturday. That sounds like fun. That, that, that sounds, sounds like, like fun. fun. Did you go to Lucky's? Did you, Did you go, go to Lucky's? Lucky's? No, Lockies, no, la, Lockies. Lockies. Se escribe con U, pero se pronuncia como A, la, Lockies. Lockies. Lucky quiere decir suertudo. Lockies. 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 Suertudo afortunado. Ajá, suertudo afortunado. Eh, no, we didn't. No, we didn't. No, we didn't. We went to that new place. We went, went to, to that, that new place. New place. Downtown. 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 Uh, downtown eh, se, se, se puede interpretar como, no voy a decir el centro, porque en El Salvador el centro tiene un significado muy diferente a downtown en los Estados Unidos. All right. Normalmente, cuando la gente dice downtown, estás hablando, ok, edificios, restaurantes, eh, bars, clubs. O sea, es como really nice. Ok, no como digamos nosotros, el, cuando tú dices El Salvador, el centro, no piensas en eso, right? Piensas en el mercado, <risa> mucha vida, piensas en la gente, el tráfico. Uh, it smells bad. It's dangerous. <laughs> o sea, no pensas en que, oh, I want to go downtown, right? No es lo mismo, pero digamos que el centro no fuera así, right? Que fuera limpio, que fuera nice, que fuera bonito. Puedes decir downtown, pero en teoría el centro es downtown. Solo que nosotros lo hemos convertido en un market. Okay. Right. Ok, pero ese sería el equivalente, porque el downtown es realmente el centro, donde está el centro de gobierno, eh, centro de educación, centro financiero, banco central de reserva, o sea, donde se supone que está lo the best, pero lastimosamente, it's a different idea here. But that's the idea. Uh, downtown, ok. How about you? Did you go anywhere? Did you go anywhere? No, I didn't go anywhere all weekend. No, I didn't go anywhere all weekend. Este soy yo mis fines de semana. It's not true. Teacher. Monday. Anywhere sería como... ¿Algún lado? Uh, ¿Algún lado? Aquí se traduce como algún lado. ¿Fuiste a algún lado? Did you go anywhere? Pero si yo te pregunto... Eh, si yo te pregunto... Where do you want to go? ¿A dónde quieres ir? Y tú me dices... Ah, anywhere. 
a cualquier lado. Ahí sí se interpreta como a cualquier lado. Ajá, es que yo así lo había, lo tenía entendido. Ajá, es, en este contexto sería algún lado. Did you go anywhere? ¿Fuiste a algún lado? Okay. Pero si tú solo okay. dices, ah, anywhere, cualquier oh. lado. Where do you want to go? Ah, anywhere. Okay, gracias. All right, repeat. No, I didn't go anywhere all weekend. No, no I didn't I go anywhere, anywhere all, weekend. all weekend. I just stayed home. I, I just stayed, stayed home. home. And studied for today's Spanish test. And, and studied for today's, today's Spanish, Spanish test. test. Our Spanish test is today? Our Spanish, Spanish test is today? is today? I forgot all about it. I forgot, I forgot all about that. Ah, okay. Aquí puedes, decir, about I, that. aquí puedes decir, I forgot all about it. Or I forgot all about that. Los dos es aceptable. I forgot all about that. All about that. Don't worry. Don't worry. Don't worry. You always get an A. Don't worry. You always get an A. <laughs> Okay, um, at this moment, do you have any questions referring to this uh, vocabulary or the expressions or something like that? What's the meaning of forgot? Forgot. Oh my God, I forgot. Se me olvidó. I forgot. Olvidé. Yes, se me olvidé. I forgot. I forgot. Todo. I forgot. Man. Olvidé. That's right. Another question from this vocabulary? Sam? Sorry, Sam. Re repeat? Sam, donde dice karaoke bar and sang with song. It's a oh. Sam. Uh, sang. Sang is el pasado de sing. Pasado de sing. 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 Uh, simple sing, present. Sang. sang simple sang. past. Okay. Sing. Sang. Okay. Sing. Sang. Como que es un nombre okay. chino, right? Hey, what's your name? Mm -hmm. Sing. Sang. Sing. Sang. My name is Sing. Sang. Wang. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right. Any questions at this moment? No, no. teacher. Okay. We're going to uh, practice the conversation in pairs, right? Uh, I want you to notice that a lot of the activities are conversation, conversation, dialogue, dialogue, dialogue. Uh, okay. Why is this important? Because this is how you're going to develop your accent. The more that you practice, the more that you speak, the more that you use the language, the more it's going to be more easy for you. Okay? So uh, okay. if you finish, repeat. Finish, change roles, repeat. Finish, change roles, repeat. Finish, okay. finish five times. Okay. Okay. The okay. idea is practice, practice, practice. Ready? Let's go. Si le toca trio, turnes el trio. Hello, Cecilia Estrada. Hello, Cecilia Estrada.
Hello, Cecilia Estrada. Hello, teacher. Okay. Eh, necesito que practiquen. Sí, ahorita solo estoy buscando la conversación ahorita. O no podría enviarla al grupo, teacher. Yes, of course. Lo único que tiene Please. que decir es, teacher, mándeme la conversation. Y yo con mucho gusto. <laughs> teacher, mándeme la conversation, please. All right. Right now. In, ah, ya la mandó Dini. Dini la mandó. <laughs> ah, pero es foto. Me adelanto. Es foto. Ya se la voy a mandar screenshot. Okay, thank you. Se ve más clarita con screenshot. Aquí está. Ahí está. Gracias. Of course. Emma, um, Rick. Okay. So, what did you do last weekend, Mel? Oh, I had a great time. I went to a karaoke bar and sang with some friends on Saturday. That sounds like fun. Did you go to Loki's? No, where did you? We went to that new place downtown. How about you? Did you go anywhere? No, I didn't go anywhere all weekend. I just stayed home and studied for today's Spanish test. Our Spanish test is today? I forget, forget all about that. Don't worry, you always get, get an A. Ahora al revés. Yes. So, what did you do last weekend in May? Oh, I had a great time. I went to a karaoke bar and sang with some friends on Saturday. That sounds like fun. Did you go to Lucky? No, we didn't. We went to that new place downtown. How about you? Did you go anywhere? No, I didn't. Go anywhere I weekend. I just stay home and student for today's fun. Our Spanish test is today. I forgot all about that. Don't worry, don't worry. You always get a A. Hello, girls. Uh, sorry, uh, I put Susie in this group. Hola, Susie. Hola, hola. hola. Hi, Susie. Uh, la moví de grupo. Eh, porque como Cecilia no había entrado y Emma estaba sola, la mandé para acá a usted, pero ya vino Cecilia, así que practiquen eh, las tres. Ok, okay. Pero la otra chica que estaba conmigo quedó fuera. Eh, ¿Él no tiene pareja? Estaba practicando con otra chica, no sé. Sí, sí, ¿Tienes? estaba con estaba con Ailey y Gabri Gabriela, pero ahí están ellas dos. Okay, listo. <laughs> yeah, la idea es practicar. Go ahead. Okay, Susi. Ajá, primero practique Cecilia y Emma y después practica Cecilia y Susi. O vice or vice versa, Emma y Susi or whatever. Okay. So, what did you do last weekend, Meg? Oh, I had a great time. I went to karaoke bar and sang with some friends on Saturday. That sounds like fun. Did you go uh did you go to Lucky's? No, we didn't. We went to a new place in that place downtown. How about you? Did you go anywhere? No, I didn't go anywhere all weekend. I just stayed home. And I studied for today's Spanish test. Oh, in Spanish test today? I forgot all about that. Don't worry, you always get, get an E. Go 
con quién, con Chus y con ella. Y no intercambiamos. Por eso, no se diga. No con Susi, usted y Susi. Ah, ok. Hello, Susi. Hola, hola. Sí, acá estoy. Eh, permítame, no tengo la pantalla ahorita. Bueno. Okay. ¿Quién empieza? Mm, si gusta usted. So, what did you do last weekend, Matt? Oh, I had a great time. I went to a karaoke bar and sang with some friends on Saturday. That song like fun. Did you go to looking like you? No, we didn't. We went to that new place downtown. How about you? Did you go anywhere? No, I did go anywhere I uh, weekend. I use I use stay home uh, study for today. Spanish test or Spanish test is today. I forgot all about that. Don't worry, you are with Gerard. Okay, our intercambiamos. Yo voy a hacer click. Okay. So, what did you do last weekend, man? Oh, I had a great time. I went to a karaoke bar and sang away some film on Saturday. That sounds like fun. Did you go to Loki's? No, we did. We went to that new place. Perdón. Se me quitó la pantalla, pero ya. That new place, Tom Tom, how about you? Did you go anywhere? No, I didn't go anywhere all weekend. I just stayed at home and studied for today's Spanish test. What Spanish test is today? I forgot about that. Don't worry, you always get an E. Okay. Intercambiamos otra vez o practica una vez con Emma. Okay, is that it? Bueno. Okay, guys, uh, time's up. It's already nine o'clock and I have to get ready for another class. So I have to let you go. Please continue working. No hay limite donde usted puede avanzar. Remember, tomorrow we have class. So I see you tomorrow. Hey, teacher. Tomorrow. See you tomorrow. Teacher. See you tomorrow, okay? See you tomorrow. Good night. Good night. Good night, teacher. Good night. Bye. Good night. Good night. Bye, girls. We got to go. See you. See you tomorrow. Bye, teacher. Bye. -bye. See you tomorrow. Bye-bye. Buenas noches. Good night. <laughs> Thank you, Emma. Good night. <laughs>